I think the unmet need that my work fulfills is that we allow people that are formerly incarcerated to showcase themselves to their neighbors and society um, for all of the good things that they're accomplishing. And so we're able to create unity between um, people's perceptions and what the reality is in regards to formerly incarcerated people. So I was born while my mom was incarcerated and I went to go stay, I went to go live in a foster home when I was six weeks old. Um, I had three older brothers and the youngest of my three older brothers was in that foster home. I realized my brother had another mom, you know, and he loved her and he wanted to be with her. And because she was incarcerated, he wasn't able to. So my adoptive parents were Anglo. I am Mexican. Um, my mom was a librarian. And so she would have me read books about um, Mexican culture. She really wanted me to know that, um, that I was loved and that my mom loved me, but that she wasn't in a position, obviously, to take care of me. I grew up really, re really resenting my mom. I was very mad at my biological mom. And so um, when I got old enough to have a relationship, a personal relationship with her, you know, I did have a relationship with her, but it was always very strained. I started doing this work after she passed away and being able to be around women that have been in this situation, women who have had children while they were incarcerated or were incarcerated and had to leave their children with someone else. Like I've come to learn that it's very typical for those children to be angry. And so, you know, my anger wasn't, it was misplaced, but it was real. My middle brother spent probably the majority of his whole life in prison. And, um, and again, and his, his going to prison was a symptom of other things. But then I come to realize well, he doesn't get help when he goes to prison. He's not doing counseling. He's not, you know, um, taking medicine. He's not being evaluated for his mental health. He's simply being stored like cattle. And that's how I feel people feel about our prison system. Why should we? help people. And they don't realize, again, the big picture is, is that if they're well, then communities are well, and we're all well. There have been other times, like I said, with watching my brother go in and out of prison, that I really was like, this really has to change. And maybe I, I have to be a part of that change. And again, not for him, but for everybody like him. There's so many people. He's, he's not the exception. He's the norm. There's so many of us. So we have to make the system better. I think a lot of times when people come out of prison, they come out and they're very angry. And they're angry about not only what they've been through, but what they know they're going to go through on supervision. So what Expo is able to do and Free is able to do is able to say, you know what, we can't remove that, but let's transform you. And that's, I think, what's transformational about our work is taking people that um, are very angry and really want to make change and giving them the tools that they need in order to be the change that they want to see in the world. So what we would like to see is we would like to see a society that's more heavily community-based programming versus prison. And so we would love to have community supports um, so that people could get sentenced and do things that were meaningful and again like deal with their trauma instead of sending them to prison. A lot of people in our prison system, I believe the numbers last week was like 63% of the people in Wisconsin prison systems have mental health issues. People with mental health issues don't belong in prison at all. 
They don't. And so we need to figure out how do we decriminalize mental health and how do we get police to respond and district attorneys and judges to respond to people with mental health in a way that's um, holistic and really puts them in a place where they're not going to be committing crimes. I want people to know that I'm part of an amazing team. And what makes this team really amazing is that we are, we're the phoenix. We're people who are rising out of the ashes. And being able to work at Expo with all people who are system impacted, myself being system impacted, people living with felony convictions, it just gives, I guess gives me so much hope and again, I want for people to understand that you're so much more than the worst thing that you ever did. And that's what Expo and Free represent for me. We have a lot of work to do in the state of Wisconsin. And so I want for people who aren't system impacted to know that we need you too. And that we can't get the meaningful change that we want to make without you.